Miramasa. 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 Yeah. Uh, and Bishley barely did make it out, so. Anyways. Yeah, we, got a, we got a show Who we got for, to here? Uh, for tomorrow. Definitely tune in tomorrow, but right now. Yeah. I know, I know the, the two BC guys. These are these are some partiers. Atlas, Atlas and Edges. And Edges. Yep. Yes. They came they yes. came down to Seattle one time and uh, man, Aegis is a riot. He is hilarious, man. Uh, I remember visiting the BC hotel room and playing some friendlies and oh man, he was having a hell of a time. Yep. And Atlas, <laughs> Atlas used to be known as Reboot. Reboot I don't know yep. if that's like a taboo saying as an old tag, but. Uh, <laughs> Was a really solid Captain Falcon. Did well at Northwest Majors eight, I think, or seven. I forget. I don't know the other guys. Ike and Tomb the Boo. Uh -oh. Ike, I actually uh, he knocked me out. Uh, That's pools. right. That's he right. plays. Uh, he played Marth against me, but maybe he likes Lucina in doubles. I think Which generally Lucina in doubles. Yeah. Uh, you get more consistent follow-ups. And it's so hectic that spacing a tipper is like. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard. Yeah. <laughs> Too much stuff going on. You could be the best player in the world, and, and Lucina might be the better pick. Anyways, we're going to see Sonic and Mario versus Korn and Lucina. This is interesting. I didn't know Aegis played Sonic. I know he has a ton of characters. Yeah, I remember him Atlas playing Atlas is playing Sonic, it looks like. Oh, that's right. Aegis is playing Mario. I just see an um, AS. Yeah, Mario has a little bit of trouble against against disjoints in general, just with that short range. Um, so Korn and Lucina are on the... I know are losing matchups according to like Dark Wizzy's matchup chart. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sonic, how does how does he do against Lucina and Corn? I think Sonic somewhat struggles with disjoints, uh -huh. uh, but at the same time, like if the Sonic is really good at whiff punishing uh, disjoints, that's that's how you beat them. You use that yeah. speed, make them swing first, and then go in and grab them and mess them up. Yeah, and Sonic definitely has the speed to bait, bait some of those options out, absolutely. Yeah. Um, and doubles, of course, like, matchups are fun to talk about beforehand, but when it comes to doubles, a lot of the times it doesn't... It, it, it matters, but not not as nearly as much as in synergy. And it's all about synergy. Yes, doubles absolutely. Doubles all about synergy, and, you know, we're going to see... Mario has great combo throws. Uh, Sonic probably just has back air, like, <laughs> you know... Or they might ping pong. We'll see. We'll see how yeah. these guys do. And combo throws are really hard to execute to their fullest extent in doubles. Most of the time, you're going to get saved by your teammates. So somebody with a, a, a quick combo throw is going to perform a little bit better if he wants to extend it all the way. Yeah. I think definitely look for red team to try and take stage control with their giant disjoints. Yeah. And uh, Sonic just going to try and be annoying. Yeah. This is interesting. I haven't commentated doubles in a long time. It is very hectic. Yep. There's a lot going on. <laughs> I'll try to pick out a couple things to look at, though. Ooh. Ike trying to bait out an option from Aegis there with that counter. Oh, oh my the goodness. Thundercats killing. <laughs> I think that was like Nair up smash or up, up, up air up smash. Town and City definitely helping him out. Yeah. Seen regaining stage control a little bit there. Yeah, Dancing Blade, also really good tool in doubles. You have them in it, and then the other person can see. Oh, huge F smash by Oh, Mikey. yeah. It holds them up for a really long time. Yeah, and the other yeah. person can... Uh... Oh, wow. AG's almost breaking that core and shield. Does a good job of using jab to just get stage control there. Yeah, both of them... Uh, both the red team at Mario up smash and kill percent. Uh-huh. I cannot see the uh, oh, nice back air. The stocks. We'll try to do a, a, a. We'll try to keep track of the stocks for you at home. Yeah. But yeah, Ike really trying to take stage control and uh, get get his, get his partner back on stage. Yeah, red team looking like they're in a little bit of control right now. And there's that dancing blade again. Yeah, Korn still hold on to that third stock. It's done a good job of using pins so far to kind of keep yourself safe Ooh, out of harm's way. The collateral yeah. hitbox of back, uh, back throw killing Atlas. Ooh, nice okay. spring up air. Yep, spring up air. Gonna get some damage on Ike. Ike, at a decently high percent, you can kind of tell just by the way he's flying around right now. Yeah. Ooh, huge! Wow! That killed that across killed. stage. Dragon Fang confirming into itself. If he's uh, trying to DI away, trying not to get hit by the uh, second hit there, and instead just DI'd right into the blast zone. Yeah. Ooh. 
Nice little read there from Atlas. Get the forward smash. Yeah, blue team doing a good job when the opponent's at the ledge and when they have full stage control. What just happened? What? I was not watching that part. Blue team will take that. <laughs> Aegis with a huge spike. Absolutely. Atlas hasn't lost his stock in a while. I don't think. <laughs> yeah, we can't tell the stock counts, but... What's that? Last stock? Oh, okay. Aegis. All right, Atlas at his last stock. Yeah. You see, no, the only one with two stocks. Not anymore. Yeah, everybody on their last stock now, but uh, Atlas certainly has a lot of percent on him right now. And Red Team with all the stage. Yep. Lucina still fresh stock under her belt. But yeah, I mean, this is anyone's game. If they kill one person, it's a 2v1. And yeah. Good job by Atlas there. Doodle just enough to distract the Red Team to allow AGs to get back to the stage. Um, that's it again right there. Now both blue players find themselves off the stage. Atlas able to get back safely. Ooh, with that roll behind. Not going to work out. Great synergy there from Aiki and Tom the Bomb. Tomb the Bomb? Tom the Bomb? Tomb the Bomb. Tomb the Bomb. Yeah. TTB. The back throw into up air. Going to take that last stock. Game one. Tomb the Bomb Nike. <laughs> Aegis is on his local PR. Um, no, he's not. not. Gosh dang it. Here you are. That yeah, was ages you, ago? He Holy came down smokes. ages ago. Uh, Holy smokes. Aegis ago. No, that's terrible. Sandman keeping us in line. We're Washington boys, so we don't know everything about these Canadians up here. Yeah, but Atlas, going back to what I know him for. The Captain Falcon. Falcon? Yep. Okay. And I think I actually think this will do really well because Falcon can hit hard. Yeah. Still has the speed factor going for him as well. Um, I didn't think his Sonic was actually doing that bad. I didn't think it was doing bad, but it's just they weren't taking out stocks. No. Yeah, and that's something that Sonic isn't necessarily the greatest at. Captain Falcon can take a stock here, man. And any combo throw into, into me? Woo! Aegis has kept Aiki in air so long with those up airs. Actually, both of these up airs are so good at juggling. We got some melee hype over there. Yep. Oh, <laughs> great wow. forward smash from Aegis. Catching that neutral getup. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, good TTB just baiting that mm -hmm. back air. I've seen that a lot lately from Korn's. Uh, just baiting mid-air counters and killing super early off the top. Ooh. Atlas almost getting hit with that shield breaker. Able to roll through it. Ooh. Two um, stocks flying off the board. Yeah. Captain Falcon getting in your face at home. Yep. I think another thing with the Falcon pick is like Mario and Falcon can just take stocks like that. Wow. Up air to sour spot, quote unquote. Uh, down air, gonna kill off the side. Atlas able to do that unhindered as well. Aegis was keeping his teammate pretty occupied over there. Oh, but still a down air. Atlas going in. Oh my god. Atlas going in. <laughs> Atlas, calm down. <laughs> yeah, I like what Atlas is <laughs> coming to the tail, bringing to the table. Aegis using Atlas as a club there, swinging him around and hitting red team. You know, Atlas getting a lot of the attention right now, but... Oh my gosh, it just held that up smash for so long. It just got rolled right into. It's that fear. Oh, Mario Kama's on the top platform. Keep yeah. your eye out. Keep your and eye out for that F smash. Aegis get, uh, Atlas getting a lot of the attention in this game, but it was because Aegis was able to hold um, whatever red teammate that Atlas was going against at bay for so long. Absolutely. With these Mario combos. Good tech from Ike. Yep. If he can get this edge guard, that's huge. Yeah, he's still at 100% though, and yep, Mario up smash gonna take care of it off the top on Town of City. So that was a that was a pretty clean four stock. Yeah, looked a lot better that Captain Falcon taking stocks. I mean, just the fear of Falcon. I think he was charging up his smash. I, I forget what smash it was. Right in front of AG is charging his up smash, and I think they were so focused on. Atlas charging his smash. They just rolled right into Aegis. <laughs> I forget who did it, whether it's Ike or TTB. Just didn't even see Aegis because they're like, oh god. Falcon. <laughs> 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 that was great. People's elbow. Mm -hmm. So, Ike and TTB 
Taking a second. They were thinking about their counter pick. Yeah. I think they're... I haven't seen, I've watched Ike play a little bit today as well after I played him. Haven't seen him play anybody other than Marth and or Lucina, so. Yep, we're gonna see the character switch from TTB instead. Uh, gonna go Ryu over the corn. Yeah, gonna add a little bit more kill power. Let's see how this does. Yeah. Back to town and city. Ryu loves the stage. Uh -huh. Ryu generally does decently well against these characters? I know he for sure does uh, pretty well against Mario. He does very well against Falcon. I mean, uh, actually in a 1v1 for sure, like you just up tilt him and it, he falls so fast and has no combo breaking tools. Yeah. But something like that takes so long that your teammate is going to have a chance to kind of save you from that situation. Yeah. So you'll probably see some just bread and butters. Ooh, focus. Oh, yep. Aegis is busy on the other side of the screen, not able to help out his teammate there. Ooh, and Alice and doesn't save Aegis. I thought no. he might. A little miscommunication there. Yeah, Alice gonna get an F smash, get a little bit of stage control. Ooh, great up Aegis, Aegis just goes for it. Yeah. Yeah, Ryu <laughs> trying to fight his way out the corner. Sometimes that's so frustrating in doubles when you're just... Like, so, yeah, you're stuck, you're surrounded, you're like, where do I go? Anywhere <laughs> I go, I get hit by something, whether it's my own teammate or either of these two guys. <laughs> yeah, Ryu's still with his first stock. I'm gonna send off stage, but yeah, Atlas saving Aegis. Yeah. Ooh, Aegis not punished for the regrab there. Good job by Aiki. Distracting blue team enough. Oh! Yeah, and that's exactly what we're talking about. Like, until, yeah, it's good against Captain Falcon, but you were so open to get punished. Aegis taking care of the job there. Yep. So, pretty even game. Absolutely. Is that lost his Yeah, Atlas lost his stock to focus. Okay. So, Atlas had two stocks. Yeah. Everyone had two stocks. Definitely a kill percent. Or close to it, anyways. Yeah, Ike getting sent off stage. And TTV just kind of threatening. Oh! <laughs> Lucina! I forward just, smash. Just says, all right, everybody's getting hit. Yep. <laughs> and at that percent, I mean, if you are cognizant of... Oh, great save from Atlas. Sorry. Yeah, everybody was at kill percent except for Ryu, and so it did not kill TTV, kill both blue teammates. I like the, the flood into Falcon, trying to pick up a little something-something there. Yep. Um... Yeah, blue, uh, red team definitely in control here. Blue team not completely out of it though. If they can pick up the stock on TTB right about now, um, they'll be even in stocks at that point. Yeah. But they are both taking quite a bit of percent off stage. I keep looking for the shield break. AD is looking for the up smash. Yep, He's able to get it. Scott Ike off stage. Ooh, TTB with that fresh stock. Atlas not having fresh stock, just trying to hang on here. Yeah, and Aegis needs to be careful. At 104 on his last stock. They both really do. I mean, they want to try to rush in there and save him. Oh, oh back yeah. Air. So it's not up to Atlas. You know, and if anybody can take advantage... Oh, uh, never mind. Of Rage? They're really not letting me finish my thoughts here. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, if anybody can take advantage of being down by a lot, it's Captain Falcon and some of the crazy kills he can get. Oftentimes don't require a grab, but... Tomb the Bomb and Ike, that Ryu pick, yeah. coming in strong. Um, going to take it in Game 3.